No One Likes a Fart by Zoe Foster Blake, illustrated by Adam Nickel. No One Likes a Fart. Lots of pages. It is lots of pages. Fart slipped out silently when no one was paying attention. Fart was so excited to see the big, big world and make some very best friends. Where would he even begin? Fart looked around his new home. Oh, do you have to, Jeff? Dad, that smells so gross. If you were stuck in there, you'd want to get out too. Oh dear, Fart thought a gross smell doesn't seem very good. I should probably go. Fart floated through the house. He peeked through a door and saw a boy and a roly-poly brown dog having fun. These will be my best friends. He glided over the boy, smiling, whining. Then boy sniffed. He sniffed and he scrunched up his face. He looked at his dog. Chops, you stinker, take your butt trumpet out of here. What a very bad dog, thought Fart. The boy turned a fan on. Fart was whooshed and swooshed right out the window. Probably not a bad thing, thought Fart, once he stopped spinning. They seemed to be dealing with some kind of awful smell in the house. Bart sailed through the warm afternoon air, enjoying the sweet fragrances nearby. What a beautiful world it was. How lucky he felt to arrive. Life was really wonderful. Bart gleefully whistled his way down the street. He saw a mother pushing a stroller. A baby, thought Bart. Could this be my very first best friend? Ugh, Amanda, daddy's gonna have to deal with this one. Suddenly the mother jogged off, sending Bart out of the stroller in a swirl. Never mind, thought Fart. The world is full of friends. Fart sailed on until he reached a big, busy road. It smelled like car exhaust and fishy cooking oil and smog. What paradise, he thought, as a noisy blue bus pulled up. Bus, thought Fart happily. What could be with fun than riding on a bus, seeing the world, and making some very best friends? Just... But before he could get on, the bus zoomed off. Fart waited at the bus stop with a wrinkled, crinkled old man and two girls chewing gum. They didn't seem as happy as they should be, considering there was a bus ride ahead. Ugh, someone's been cooking air biscuits. I bet it was Fart Simpson over there. An air biscuit sounds delicious, thought Fart, but the old man didn't seem to think so. When the next bus arrived, Fart rushed on as soon as the doors opened. Three boys were laughing loudly and having a really best friend time. Bro, did you let them one rip? That's gross, you don't fart on the bus. Can you do that again? Fart happily moved in closer. Oh boy, this is gonna be great, Fart thought. I can be a bro. <laughs> no way, bro. That's your butt breath burning our nostrils. What'd you eat for breakfast, bro? 20 farts? Ooh. The boys laughed and laughed. Fart's heart broke into big, medium, and small pieces. It was him. He was the horrible, terrible smell. He was embarrassing and disgusting. He would never, ever find a very best friend. Fart wafted off the bus at the next stop. He floated toward a little cafe. These people looked happy, Fart thought, as he pushed his face against the glass. Surely just one of them would be his friend. Fart slipped under the door. What's that smell? Honestly, Gavin, what is that? Yuck! Fart's sweet, hopeful little heart sank. They thought he was repulsive. They didn't want to be his friend either. No one did. I give up, thought Fart. I'm kind and friendly, and I'd make a very wonderful best friend, but no one will give me a chance. Fart slipped out a window into the dark, grimy alley. It smelled like cat pee and rotting fish guts and old shrimp. But even his favorite smells could not cheer him up. This would be his home. He couldn't disgust anyone back here. Suddenly, a man and a woman carrying garbage bags came outside. An enormous roar escaped the woman's mouth. Fart was fascinated. What was that? Well, that was the grossest thing I've smelled all week. Ha! Better out than in. Bart noticed a small purple cloud hiding in the shadow, sobbing quietly. He floated slowly over to Burp. She smelled like onions and old cheese and dirty socks. She was beautiful. But Burp pulled away. Am I really that horrible? Bart thought about all the times people had been disgusted by him. But then he smiled. Not at all. You're lovely. They just don't get it. Lovely me? Oh, thank you. You are too. Burp blushed. They both grinned. Bart had found a very best friend, and she smelled gross and horrible and yucky and very disgusting. Bart could not have been happier. The end.